Hello everyone and welcome to another Critical Ops weekly recap. Not much has happened during this week so I will try to keep this short, at least for this time. Starting with the developer news. As you may know, the clan update feature was released last week. Now you can create your own clan in Critical Ops and invite your friends to join. The price to create a clan is now 1000 credits for a 10 slots clan. And yes, it will remain this way in the future. You can always purchase additional slots for your clan if you need them. Now, as for the future updates, we are working on some really exciting new features, but we still don't have a release date to give you. Some of these features are the new gun game mode, party ranked, an improved layout for the in-game store and of course Factory, the new map. As a quick reminder, we are also working on improving our entire hack system. This is a long-term project but we are feeling very optimistic about it. Now let's talk about the competitive scene. The semi-finals for the Mobile Esports Entire Assault Tournament were played this week and this resulted in two very intense matches. King surprising, not surprisingly beat Team Hawkeyes and Team D2 are in Sirius won against Damnation. I highly recommend watching the matches on the link in the description down below. So, the teams that made it to the finals are Kings Uprising and D2 are in Sirius. Mobile Esports also announced a Sniper Showdown tournament which is now open for registration. So, if you think your team is good with the U ratio, I would check it out. And this is all for this week. Make sure to join us in our community stream this Monday. Subscribe to our channel if you would like to see more updates. And I will see you in the next recap. Well, probably not me.